Rain's good for obvious reasons. However, sometimes rain can be destructive. It knocked a large limb off my cedar tree. But in the process, it brought a creature to the ground that I want to try to bring more awareness to. We have a very cool caterpillar. Now this caterpillar, oh wow, he's coming right over to me. Can often be mistaken for a harmful species of caterpillar because of all those spines and quills. The question is, if I was to put my finger on those spines or quills, would it stab me? Well, ah, so bad. No, it seriously isn't. Let's do it on my forearm where it's a little softer sensitive skin. And yeah, I can feel the spikes from this caterpillar that would be considered a member of the woolly bear caterpillar family. This is a very prolific caterpillar species that you probably run into. Its range goes all the way from Ontario down here to South Florida. Thunder in the background. <laughs> no, this right here is actually the leopard moth's caterpillar. And you can tell because when his segments, when he curls up in the defensive position, you see the orange or the red inside of the segments. Now the leopard moth caterpillar exhibits sexual dimorphism with the males being around two inches in length and the females only being an inch. And they exhibit one of the longest known sexual reproductions of any insect species. In fact, the act of performing sexual reproduction can take 24 hours. Now that's better than Viagra. The larval phase is the majority of its life. The moth has developed really sensitive antennae. And those antennae are specifically adapted to pick up on the female's unique perfumes to which the male can find a female from miles away just by picking up a few molecules of the female's perfume. Baby deer running in the background. Yeah, that's the forest of the monarch's deer. Uh, the habitat we're restoring has attracted numerous species of wildlife, including fawns. So what I wanna do is put this woolly bear caterpillar, the leopard moss baby, back on some luscious foliage that it will consume and continue its life cycle. Let's get this beautiful caterpillar right back. All right, it's so active. It was probably startled when it fell from the tree earlier, but it's going on an oak tree right now. And uh, this oak tree is kind of volunteered in a spot that it's not gonna do too well anyways. If you like this kind of content, preservation of wildlife and sting test of everything that you question, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time in the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy. Peace.